Okay, I'm gonna do another patch video, uh, patching GM intake manifolds on. Uh, say if you're shaving the top of a truck manifold or cutting the post out, doing whatever you gotta do. Um, at least my method of sealing has worked pretty well thus far. Um, so, um, two different ways you could use one plate on top, uh, like so. Or you could use two steel plates, drill a hole in the top plate if you want to be safe and secure on both sides, which I don't think there's a need even if you are boosted because it'll still seal up on the back side. Once you heat this up, it'll create its own self-sealing plug. However, you could put a steel plate on this side, relatively thin gauge, something like 18 gauge, and uh, drill a hole through one side, and then put another steel plate on the outside, drill a hole, and then tack weld it in place so it doesn't drop in or get sucked in, and so it won't blow the top out if you're worried about being boosted. So anyways, uh, got my aluminum plate right here and about to heat it up and show you what it'll do. It's kind of hard to work with it, but using my torch on the aluminum plate. It'll start smoking. You'll see the nylon start to bubble up around the outsides. And you'll need to press this down with a pair of pliers or whatever. Okay, you'll notice, i just press it down. You'll notice that it's uh, kind of created its own little bubble around the outsides. And you'll notice on the back side it's created this plug kind of. What we'll do while it's hot is we'll smear it in towards the outsides like so. And so it creates its own self-sealing plug to the nylon. Of course there's no better bond to nylon but nylon, so nylon 66. So anyways, that's how I do it. Then you can go over it with JB Weld. However you want to do it, over the top, and uh, sand it down, make it look all pretty and shit, but no vacuum leaks, and it's cheap and easy.